It's the first day of the new month and it's the birth of something wonderful. Mm. This new month is definitely an opportunity to renew yourself and take on the world and achieve everything. Ah, <laughs> I like this energy. You know, it's, you know, both of you, you know, just drawing, uh, pouring some of that energy on me this morning. I like it. <laughs> I'm on that. Bad energy. No, no good great energy. energy. Oh, I thought you said bad energy. No, I was no. wondering. <laughs> no, of course not. Please, it's all positive vibes. Positive vibes. Yeah. It's all July. Vibes. The second half of the year is officially yeah. starting now. And uh, it's time to stop dreaming and start doing. Yes, that's very true. A warm welcome to your Numero Uno Breakfast Show. Three hours of exciting, fabulous, non-stop entertainment. Mm, thank you for making uh, the show uh, joining us this morning uh, the show was created with you in mind of course you remember that yes now remember not to let your guard down by following all health guidelines you know who i am talk about alonia and i'm <laughs> yomi Ope. now you guys know who's in the kitchen yes 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 it's me your girl and yeah, blow them kiss, blow i sound so corny <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. yeah. Well, I, you can blame me. It's the new month, it's so not, I'm all This is not up. East Splash, I mean, like, we can move you over to East Splash later on. No. Yeah. We're all wake up Nigeria. Yeah, yes. I'm waking up. Yeah. Now, you can stream the show live right now, TVC Entertainment.tv, and on Facebook at TVC Connect. Yes, we'll also love to know what your plans for the new month and the second half of the year is. Make sure you use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC on all social media platforms and drop your comments. And to watch all our exciting episodes from YouTube and short videos of past episodes and stuff we do in the kitchen, interviews and things like that, check us out on our YouTube channel, TVC Entertainment, and also on Fridays, something very special. Yes, it is Wake Up Extra. Now that happens on Instagram Live on our Instagram and page with this TVC Connect at 2.30. We get to talk to your favorite celebrities and it's always amazing. You definitely don't want to miss that. Yeah. So we're going to start this show with a little bit of uh, words of wisdom, hashtag <laughs> shoe day <laughs> this morning. A few years ago. Well, about three years, two years ago. And when I got there, I realized when I got to the station, you know, a whole me, a whole me, I got to the station. And then they Which said, oh, now, Olavisi Falari is a professional counsellor with over two decades of experience. She will be talking to us about deep questions to ask in a relationship. Hmm. Deep questions. How deep are these deep questions? Hmm. <laughs> What's your family roots? Wow. <laughs> On nutrition, uh, Tolani Fashion, a nutritional enthusiast, will be joining us. Uh, to talk to us about the COVID-19 nutrition crisis, uh, what to expect and how to protect ourselves. Does ginger really work, like Tokwe said? Wow. <laughs> of course, Wednesdays are for life hacks, and MM has something special for us. Finally, on the show this morning, we've got uh, this lady, Falana a Nigerian-Canadian soul singer, musician, and self-credited soul fusion player. Her sound is a mix of Afrobeat and soul yourself, music. yourself in different environments and to explore. <laughs> I like drumming. Yeah. Happy All right, happy new, happy new month. Happy new month. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, so it's been a very trying four months or so for many people, mm -hmm. many countries. Yeah. Um, and you know, lots of people were saying just cancel 2020 <laughs> and all of that. But gradually, it's it's been it's difficult, but gradually things are getting back to normal yeah. around the world. Um, it was really tough in Europe, you know, pl places like Italy, France, yeah. Britain. People just dying right, of, of yeah. the disease, yeah. and then the US. And the U.S. Of course, it was later on that the U.S. Started, started, you know, yeah, had their own wave, and uh, mm -hmm. even Nigeria, you know, we've had a lot of prominent people. Yeah, for the past away. few weeks. Uh, past, I think even away. the U.S. has, you know, had a lot of um, events, you know, really sad events in the course of the year. Yeah. I mean, from um, COVID-19 to the protests, Black Lives Matter. Yeah. I yeah. mean, and then, you know, black, black people getting all, you know, mm. somewhat 
from one situation <laughs> oh, well, to the yeah. other. You get it's 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 been it's been but like you said, I'm glad that we're at that place where you know things are balancing out. Yeah. You know, every life is short. Everyone's just moving on. <laughs> yeah, I know, and everybody's like, really hoping everyone's that just yeah. You know, back, like yeah. you can't. We are not waiting for this virus to get us. We are <laughs> getting it. We are going out there. We are catching I mean, it. We are not like, getting it. Maybe not. Get no, it. no, no. I don't yeah. mean like getting okay. the virus, but instead we are attacking yeah. it. It's like a first form of defense. Exactly. You attack exactly. it. So okay. that's you know Truly. that's. Yeah. Uh, so second half, now. second half, um, I know you got big plans, so talk to us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or maybe we should leave it for coffee, Jesus. Oh, okay, yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but um, I saw something on the internet that caught my attention yesterday, and it's something that a lot of us unconsciously say. So um, in the U.S., as part of also encouraging the black movement, yeah. they said you shouldn't say master's bedroom anymore because that's still some form of mental slavery. So right. the master oh, takes master the bedroom, bedroom. Oh, and then the slaves take takes the, the other, other room. room. Mm. Oh, so that okay. is just a bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. Because I always say, oh, master bedroom. Yeah. And when you think about yeah, it. Yeah, because it's usually like the biggest the room big, in the you house. Get, So why don't we just yeah. say the biggest room? Yeah. Why do we say the master's, master's bedroom? bedroom? Or the couple's bedroom, because I mean okay, like. So a couple's bedroom. Ah, we're single, Sunko. Okay, or the uh, single's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> No, just say the owner's bedroom. <laughs> or the owner's bedroom. <laughs> or the owner's bedroom. Or, or yeah. something like that. But yeah, but the master, master had that you know, yeah, sense master of had that master slave relationship. Slavery, yes, and Aunt Jemima. Did you see the one of Aunt Jemima? Yeah, I, I saw that. It's so funny how I never thought that there was any relation to that. To but slavery, to yeah. To slavery, yeah. I think what, what I have loved so far is the fact that this Black Lives Matter movement isn't just talking about um, George Floyd and others that died, but the little things that people have overlooked and have <laughs> Over allowed the years. Yeah. to become yeah. a way of life. And, yeah. true, and true. what's his name? And Bernard's win. He's, he's in as much as he says a lot of funny things. <laughs> and like whoever read that speech, thank you so much. <laughs> he said something wise. Yeah. So it's so it's good um, to everyone out there. It's a new era, yeah. so to speak. So July to December. Start making your plans, start doing stuff, yeah. um, you know, and uh, our prayers, things get better. Yeah, Pastor Yame. <laughs> this thing, you don't want to give us some words of wisdom. <laughs> you know, not, 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 uh, not now. Not we'll now. We'll probably, okay. do, we'll probably do something later. But, but I'm excited. Around. Happy New Month to everybody that's watching us, and uh, God's blessings always. All right, we're going to take the news now, and we'll begin. Uh, with some cherry news, the increase in electricity tariff expected to begin uh, today uh, may not continue if the latest resistance by some lawmakers yield expected results. Uh, of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Gwajabiamila, met with President Muhammadu Buhari and Vice President Yemi Oshimajo to get their buy-in on the in to oppose the increase in the electricity tariff the two most senior legislators told state house correspondents at the presidential villa that the timing of the planned hike in tariffs is wrong because citizens are struggling uh, to cope with the impact of covid 19. they urged the electricity companies to provide efficient and effective services to consumers before they can make money and also urge them to take steps to ensure the cost consumers are properly metered. And we believe that it's not uh, the right time to increase the tariffs in the electricity sector today. Nigerians have a lot of uh, uh, challenges today because of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic and the situation requires that we should uh, do everything possible to make life easy for our citizens. And of course, government is doing a lot in this respect. Uh, we believe that the discourse should continue to engage with their consumers, uh, find uh, better cost reflective uh, tariffs. But before then, there must be some steps to ensure that uh, the consumers are properly metered. I think we all agreed on an increase in tariff cost reflective tariff but the timing is also very important sometimes even timing is more important than you know the policy decision that you make and uh, there's a saying that all uh, the road to hell oftentimes is paved with good intentions so the intention is good but what about the timing and I think we all agreed now to suspend this for a while tarry a while 
um, get the buy-in of the people, explain to the people the reasons why this has to be done. In the meantime, the Senate suspended sitting yesterday in honor of their colleague who died on the 15th of June. Bayo Shino represented Lagos East Senatorial District until he passed away. Uh, lawmakers describe his death as a rude shock and a painful loss to the assembly, where he will be sorely missed for his in-death contributions. A minute silence was also held in honor of Mr. Oshino, who until his death served as the chairman of the Committee on Capital Market. He's been here with us in the Senate. He's been a very calming influence. He's uh, a patriot, provided stability here in the Senate, gave us all the support, especially we in the leadership, needed to keep this house going. Uh, his contributions were very, very impactful. I didn't mention that we need prayers in the Senate because uh, it has never happened before where people have died back to back within a short period in the National Assembly. And uh, I still believe that as Christians and Muslims who believe in God, there's a need for us to pray. Uh, you know, it's, it's totally unusual. And I hope that his soul will rest in perfect peace. No one believed that such an energetic young man who who is known by all of us as someone who is very jovial, very friendly, uh, would just pass unceremoniously this way. Losing four colleagues within one year definitely uh, is, is so much to bear, you know, by any right-thinking uh, person. Uh, but one thing is certain, God Almighty uh, is the one in whose hands we have our times, you know, and seasons. Now, the governor of Ondo State, Rotimi Akiridolu, has tested positive for the coronavirus. Uh, the governor on his verified Twitter handle said he got confirmation of a positive result for COVID-19. He said he is asymptomatic and not displaying any symptoms. The Ondo State governor said, I am currently self-isolating and supervised home management will be administered by the wonderful team on, at our infections <coughs> diseases hospital. I ask that we all stay safe and be well. I am asymptomatic. I don't know if I'm not feeling sick, neither am I feeling hard in any way. So from now, I will be isolated and go on with the supervised home management. My trust in God to get through this is unshaken. Please, my people, if you have malaria or other things, get tested. You never know. So I thank God for the discovery of this on time. Well, that's it on the news update for this hour. We're going to be taking sports right after this break. And uh, today is Wednesday, July 1st, 2020. And uh, MM, you've got The Punch. Yes, I have. And on the cover of The Punch newspaper this morning, NMA NUT knock federal government over order to reopen schools. We can't resume. We don't want to die. Teachers tell federal government, and that's on page two. And at the top here, we have... Chinese bank signature to fund $2.6 billion at Jakuta Kaduna pipeline projects. And um, uh, that's you can find on page 19. Akira Dolu test positive. Cabinet members, monarchs, self isolates. And North Assem the National Assembly, sorry. This cause asks federal government to subsidize power consumption. Wadume, family of slain corp, sues federal government, killer, captain this week. And at the bottom of the paper here, we have health workers meet federal government today, threatening strike over hazard allowance. And that's on page seven. Makinde can never surpass Ajimobi's achievements, says daughter-in-law. 
and that's on page nine. And here we also have ICPC declares ex official wanted for bribery. CP orders manhunt for Okada men who killed Lagos businessman. And also here we have illegal entry. Federal government rescues 39 Nigerians detained in Ghana. And APC chief Tinubu's daughter, MC Oluoma, to supervise federal government recruitment. And also here we have quite a number of headlines on the papers this morning. Eki to reopen schools July 20, worship centers July 17. Alleged rape. IG orders probe of the bunch accusers arrest. And that's on page seven. And Wiki invites Buhari Hills 78.9 billion Naira return to Rivers. And that's all you can find on the cover of the punch this morning. All right, let's look at uh, the Vanguard and APC. Tinubu, Amechi, El Rufai dig in for 2023. Wow. And all eyes on Buni's caretaker committee. And how Oshomole's mistakes hurt his allies, Tinubu returns to drawing board. Why stakeholders moved against NWC, Amichi's loyalist. And Faimi El Rufai move to strengthen party. Up here we have a few stories. Uh, the CAC deregisters Splinter uh, Ohaneze Indigo Group. The group talks tough, wants federal government to address genuine agitations of Igbo. And CAC should withdraw erroneous Ohanese certificate, Big Boo says. And we're intact. Disregard fake news, the new Ohanese responds. Economic Advisory Council warns against multiple exchange rates. And at the bottom here, a few stories also. A fear grips commissioners, others as Akiri Dulu tests positive for COVID-19. Court declines to stop reps from a passing infectious diseases bill dismisses Malay's suit. And NLC demands outright cancellation as Buhari National Assembly agree on electricity tariff hike delay. And NBC orders DSTV to suspend new tariffs. 774,000 jobs, senators, reps, Kayamo in shouting match. That's it on the Vanguard. Yes, and on the cover of the Daily Sun this morning, no plans to reopen universities, others says PTF. And Buhari National Assembly stop electricity tariff hike. Senate discos urge federal governments to subsidize power. And that's on page six. And at the bottom of the paper here we have federal government workers set for showdown over airport concession. NLC, TUC, ULC vowed to join aviation unions for indefinite strike. And Akiridulu test positive for COVID-19 goes for treatments. APC constitutes reconciliation teams for Edo Ondo denies zoning arrangement for national convention and that's on page 26. Why we are not getting free fair elections, Yakubu Ekuremadu. And at the top here we have Southeast Governors Oaneze set up Igbo Development Fund. Ogbu Utomi, 48 others make committee and that's on page 26 of the Daily Sun paper this morning and that's all we can find on the on the Daily Sun, on the cover of the Daily Sun this morning. All right, and The Guardian has got the headline, Coronavirus puts flawed electricity tariff hike to test. Uh, Jen Coe's threatened suit over delay. And Disco's uh, government discuss poor services supply cost. And Senate urges Buhari to be a cost of deferred hike. And operators deny lobbying a National Assembly, putting sector in debt. Up here, we have a few stories on page three. Rising COVID-19 cases may induce more hardships, federal government warns. And a gunman abduct over 30 passengers in Nasarawa. Akiri Dolu tests positive for COVID-19, recounts experience. And no work, no pay, Cross River government tells striking workers. At the bottom here, is, uh, schools resumption faces new hurdles. 
yeah, and as stakeholders raise issues on safety guidelines. And at the corner of um, The Guardian here, we have COVID-19 cases in Nigeria, uh, the different states that were reported yesterday, and the total number of cases right now stands at 25,694. That's it and on The Guardian. Yeah, and that's it on the paper headlines this morning. Let's take a break and where we return, there's so much more on the show. Stay with us. Welcome back. You're still on to Wake Up Nigeria. And of course, it's that time of the show where we update you on the situation on the roads. The rains are here. Please be extremely careful with how you manage, you know, your movements from one place to the other. And of course, we'll be always here to ensure that you get to your intended destination on time, safe and sound. All right. So, and of course, I've got my guys in the kitchen and they'll be updating us on the traffic updates on social media, guys. I hope you are right on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, great. Okay, so let's check out what the traffic situation around the Agege axis is like. I know somebody there is saying Agege, yes. <laughs> All right, so Agege this morning isn't as bad as I thought it would be. And... Um, at 6.34 a.m. this morning, the traffic, there's no traffic basically on the Agige route this morning. It's pretty free um, flowing. So yeah, there are pockets of traffic on your way out of Agige towards um, Niger, right? There is no traffic. But if you are towards the Oba Latif estate and you're making your way out, there is a uh, Terrible traffic on that route this morning. But uh, then again, let's see what the traffic situation on the Lagos, um, Lagos, Ikurudu, Lagos Road is like this morning. I don't know if you guys have any updates for me yet on social media while I check out the Lagos, Ikurudu Road mm. situation. Okay. Um, I just have an update here, not on traffic, but on how Lagosians should remain patient and most importantly, use their car headlamps in traffic to light up the roads. Because mm. if you notice, on most especially the Lekki Ekpe Expressway, there's um, a bit of a fault. I don't know what's going on there, but a lot of people are saying here from um, Lagos Traffic Reports, like you should try as much as possible to use your lights and of course use your double pointers because it's really dark yeah. so you might want to do that just so you're safe mm. yes okay, so a number of locations right now are uh, a few people reporting on traffic updates that's at traffic butter yeah uh, traffic is is light in most uh, most areas of of lagos this morning uh whether you're on the lagos abeokuta expressway yeah. coming through Abeokuta into Lagos, it's light. Also, because of the, I guess because of the traffic in the past 48 hours, coming into Lagos uh, this period is not also not too bad mm. like you would normally see. So that's what I'm seeing on Twitter. Okay. Uh, right All right. So if you are making your way to the um, Lagos Ikurudu Road this morning and you're currently at mile 12, there is traffic. And like um, Tokpa said earlier on, Please, there's so many road constructions going on right now, so you really need to be careful. I see a lot of road rage, and I wonder why. We'll all get to our destination, so there's no need for you to hurry. And if it's dark and you're driving, please use your double headers. All right, so back to the traffic updates on the Korodu Road. There is traffic if you're making your way out of Lagos, of making your way towards the island on the Korodu Road this morning. The traffic uh, towards the K2 axis, uh, even after K2, isn't smiling at all, people. Isn't smiling at all. So um, I really hope for those of you still on you know, still making your way out. You get out in good time to get to your destination. Good enough. All right. So um, 
the traffic, um, so there are pockets of traffic on Lagos, on Lagos Ikorodu Road. And um, so basically that is the traffic update on the um, Ikorodu Road access this morning. I don't know if you guys have any updates. And yes, we're talking about something very interesting on Coffee Gist this morning. Tokwe has some juicy gist for us. <laughs> My dear, let me just be center of attention. <laughs> <laughs> so, but before we go to Coffee Gist, I just saw something on Lagos Traffic Reports. It says, yeah. constant. Costain blocked, Eric Moore blocked, vehicles to CMS and Apapa are stocked. Are stuck. Mm. Why not fix the bad spots at Eric Moore and um, Brewery Junction since Costain is cordoned off? Yeah, and, you know, the trucks, those trailers, and yeah. those drivers, they have a mind of their own. Where they just stop, they stop. Mm -hmm. So if you're around that axis, you might want to use another route to get to the island, maybe Third Mainland Bridge, because someone here is already saying it's blocked. Yeah, and and you don't want to get angry this yeah, morning. A lot of the trucks are also coming back into Lagos, so they're beginning to lift things and clear yeah. stuff from the port. So that's causing a bit of traffic as well mm -hmm. with the bad road, so not too good. Yeah. Not too good. Okay. Anyway, so once again, uh, for those of you just tuning in, uh, happy new month. Yeah. Happy new month, ladies. Happy Looking new month, really man. Nice and in your black outfits. Yeah, it's more like we planned it, exactly, but we really did it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. We did it. All yeah, right, so, so something uh, nice happened you. with uh, yeah, Tokwe. Yeah, Tokwe talk over, over the past few days. I know, yeah. right? She likes this. Yes. She likes this, I'm but please let's try to make it as short as possible Emin, really. so that we Emin can Emin move on to other one. interesting things. <laughs> wow! No, 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 but, um, but just kidding. So competitions are, are nice because, yeah. you know, they... They put you on the edge, make you your best. So whether it's a writing competition mm. or a singing competition, you just you know it just brings out the best in your talents and it also does. brings the best people to perform. I hate competitions. So mm. You hate competitions. I, hate competition. <laughs> I think it's the waiting, waiting to hear who won. Who, who wins? You yes. know, so that 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 is also a big deal. Anyway, so Stoppa entered this. Um, I don't know why you're doing acting competition after all your experience, but you <laughs> exactly. sure did. <laughs> you know, so that's a funny thing. Even us um, being yeah. interviewed on East Splash yesterday, I said it. A couple of my actor friends also said, why are you jumping on challenges? Yeah. Because you've come so far. But the thing is, because I want to be on the project. Yeah. And the only way to get on that project is, is, to, to, go, is to do the part. Instagram competition. competition. So I, I, I thought it was instructive for many people, you mm. know, even people that are up and coming and still just trying to enter the industry. I'd be a bit shy of what people would say if I put out a post on Instagram would as part like of a competition it? with yeah. the hashtags and mm -hmm. everything. But Tokwe did it mm. and she won. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. So I don't know if we have so the video. So what's yeah. the, what's the, what's next? Now that you've won, mm -hmm. so what's next? I get to be on the film. <laughs> what film? <laughs> Rattlesnake. 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 So yeah. it sounds uh, like an old movie, yes, right? Yes. So the same people who did Living in Bondage uh -huh. are doing are the same people. The same people doing Rattlesnake. Oh, that's huge. Yeah. So it's a it's a major role for you. Yes. And I I saw it on uh, Ramsey Noah's page. Yes. He Ramsey Noah is it. directing it. He's as directing well. it, and oh. then uh, Amstel Malta, the sponsors of yes. this challenge, mm -hmm. yep. also posted it as well, and you know, a couple of blogs have carried it. So you uh, uh, well, wait. I want because with competitions, yeah. it actually at some point you know getting in competition getting involved in competition okay that's a copy that's a picture of it okay could actually affect one's self-esteem especially mm. when you're not you don't win yeah. or you're not even in the top three top, yeah. it affects your self-esteem mm -hmm. it affects how you see yourself yeah you begin to Very question true. your your then your friends your, start sending your, your, like, your friends start sending, send, sending did you scriptures. ever feel that way the, the moment i saw well after this i said the top six and then they're like his votes mm. and then the day they just randomly posted they're going to be announcing the winner at 6 p.m <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't even know it was my friend that called me and she's like, Tokwe, they're not sitting in a six and I'm like, hey, for that one hour from five to six, it felt like the longest time in my life. Mm. I'm here thinking, so if they don't pick me, what will I do? Okay, I won't cry so much. I'll just be strong. Well, you I'll know just we'll be, be here for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just and send then, you a scripture. <laughs> <laughs> you motivate me. That's a picture there. God's yes. time is the best. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and of course, you have to use that picture. Pepe them Funny down. thing, I didn't use it. Oh, so I it. just refreshed their page at 6 p.m. And then I was refreshing because my friend was in my house. And then as we re I refreshed, she already started screaming. So I thought she was screaming like, oh, she's sorry. So, so I'm seeing it. She's screaming. I'm screaming. Ah. But like, it was, it was okay, crazy. So, uh, wow. I don't know. The, uh, so you were supposed to take a scene from the old film and uh, redo it. Or how yeah, did that so work? They, no, not the old film. So they send the scripts were online. You take the scripts and you do it. Mm. You you do either the female version or the male version. So which one did you do? I did the female. I did yeah. now. Let's see. Uh, ah. tell them we do not follow the page. I don't follow the I, competition. I, no, I, I, I so at least give us an idea. Please. 
uh, please, producers, would you like to play it for them to so watch? When, let's see. When, let's when, see live. Oh, my glory. Don't you when, want to when see it uh, When Tucker sent the, uh, because you know you were, you know, us, your fans, you were sending yeah. us, please vote, please vote. Yeah. So when I got it, and I said, let me even and see those competing with her. So that I know whether I'm voting whether for her. <laughs> wow. Whether I'm wasting my vote. Just being sentimental. Exactly. Whether I'm wasting my vote or I'm just being sentimental. Those guys, all the people who did this challenge yeah. are good. Right, there were, there were a few guys yeah. and a few ladies. Some of them are pretty good. I thought, yeah, you know, yeah. they, were, they were fantastic. But so I, yeah, I felt Top West still did better. So I we, voted it's, for it's, her. We are allowed to put you on the spot. You have worn now. You have become a okay. millionaire. Yeah. Okay, is it? Wait, wait. Okay, th yeah, that's the yeah. that's the video, but I, I'm not sure we have. I'm, I'm yeah, not we sure don't we have it, but I have the video. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember the line. You remember? <laughs> After you have worn. So uh, the <laughs> story was basically talking about. Um, so this girl is telling this arm robber how, why, okay, so they take our artwork yeah. and they bring it back to us and put it in our history books for us to read about. Okay. And then she's saying that she's pissed and she's very pissed because um, she, had to, she had to leave the country because she, she felt like Nigerians had not suffered enough. Mm. And she says if Nigerians have suffered enough, they would not take what these people are doing. And then she says, do you want to now talk about our leaders? Mm. Our leaders who keep taking and taking mm. and taking. Mm. And then she, she sounds, and she says, there was a time where she wanted to get a placard and protest. And she did. And she did that when she was in university. Yeah. But it, look at her now. No one, when she did that, she was hoping people would come and protest with her. But she was all alone. It sounds like you can relate with it. You're already yeah. even getting into the character <laughs> already. <laughs> no, but that's the thing about to be, yeah. to be, to be able to act seamlessly yeah, is to be able to put yourself in it. And the good thing is it's a Nigerian story. You look at our history, like when I was in secondary school, I remember reading so much about our artworks. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, looking at the script, it said that these people took our arts and then they brought it back, back to, to us, us. Yeah. and then they and put it in our yes. history books and then we're reading about it like, like they, they brought, brought it. it. But it was really exactly. Yeah, yeah, it exactly. Does. I, I put out a tweet, um, I think last week or two weeks ago that um, with all these statues that they're pulling down in Europe and America, I said this is a good time with the Black Lives Matter yeah. to ask for our, <laughs> our <laughs> artworks. Our inheritance. Yes. We, we should ask for it back. <laughs> uh, you know the, the, there's a, the Benin Bruins head yeah. is, still, is, still, is still missing. Uh, well, it's is over in the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, the Ife, there's there's one from there's a there's a head from Ife, uh, uh, an artwork from Ife that's completely missing. It's gone off the face of the earth, and mm -hmm. people are saying that it's probably with a private okay. art collector. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, and things like that. And you have lots of artworks yeah. like that. Yeah. All, all so let, we're about to see um, Topaz's audition. Um, audition. Yeah, I can't wait to see it though. Oh, there it is. That's of King of Voice. That's not for Rattlesnake. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, so, right. so I guess they'll um, sort it out later. Yeah, on, and then we can we'll sort it out later, and then, and then we can watch it. But yeah, congratulations, really good, yeah, really good stuff. Putting day. yourself out there and all of that. Thank you. Okay, hey. um, I'll have to. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go on a quick break now. We'll be right back. Stay Please with us. <laughs> to do an interview at a radio station a few years ago. Well, about three years, two years ago. And when I got there, I realized when I got to the station, you know, a whole me, a whole me, I got to the station. And then they said, oh, ah, no, we didn't schedule you for any interview at the reception, at the reception, with people looking at a grown man that left his house to drive to the island for an interview. And so as I sat there thinking about my life this early morning, I thought, I am so embarrassed. I am so embarrassed. I am so embarrassed. Then I think the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, who embarrassed you? What happened to you? How are you embarrassed? Nothing has happened to you. You came for an interview. It is not happening. So you enter your car and you go back to your house. And you know, this is such a small thing, but actually think about it. When I'm sitting down there thinking, I'm embarrassed. Where is the embarrassment on my head? <laughs> this is like, say, look at your hand. Can I see the embarrassment? Nobody. All of that negative emotion is only happening in your mind. So you say, yes, but people are looking at me as if I'm jobless. Okay, but are you jobless? Like, you, know, you ask yourself this common sense, but are you jobless? No. So the idea of this is that that embarrassment you feel comes from inside you. There's something that the 
that uh, the Christ, that Jesus, used to, the Jesus of Nazareth used to say that it is what comes out of a man that defiles him, not what goes into the man. So when you are sitting down there and nobody has embarrassed you, but you are feeling embarrassed, then you realize that you still have a lot of work to do on yourself because you are seeing visions and demons where there are absolutely none. Check yourself. Yes, that was Daily Vulnerable yes, by, by Chude. Chude. Interesting nuggets there. Yes. You only feel embarrassed from the <laughs> from inside. inside. Yes. <laughs> you should put that in my... If you are just waking up, huh, too bad, because <laughs> an entire electric one hour just went by. Really don't fast. Fret. Don't really fret. fast. We are just starting the second hour of the show. Mm, yes, The we show are. only gets better, actually. And uh, the next one hour, 45 minutes is tailored to bring out an even, uh, you know, better, more exciting <laughs> show uh, for you. Just very shortly, so make sure you stick around. Yes, make sure you do. Now, as things continue to improve and people move in different parts of the country, let's remember to follow all health guidelines on the fight against this deadly virus. My name is Tokwe Olonio. And I'm Yomi Okwe. We're streaming live right now at TV's here, Entertainment TV, and you can check us out there, or you can also check us out on Facebook at TVC Connect. Yes, now we have an amazing app. It's so easy to navigate, and guess what? It's available for free for download on both Android and iOS stores. Now, it allows you to watch us from anywhere in the world. You definitely want to jump on that. Yeah, if you want to catch back episodes of the show, uh, you can also go to YouTube and uh, look for us at TVC Entertainment. Now, you can get to watch past episodes of the show, yep. Uh, kitchen, uh, just different things uh, that we do on the show, and full episodes as well. Yes. You know, just very exciting all around. Yeah, and remember, guys, on Friday, we have Wake Up Extra at 2.30 p.m. It's always amazing. Do you know why? Because we have your favorite celebrities chatting with us, getting us to see what their life really is outside the glitz and glamour. And you don't want to miss that, trust me. Mm. <laughs> and yeah, moving on, we have Chef Beyonce. Beyonce Joining us really. in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it's really Beyonce nice to be back. in the building. It's nice to be back. I hear that you're sharing money for us today. Right? No, I'm sharing in Dominus for us today. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we have Hannah. Nice of you to join us this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's All right. also to good it. to know that Yomi is fasting, so it's okay. Yomi is <laughs> right. not going to eat. MM is watching so, her uh, weight. I'm not slim enough. The, MM the way is watching I am, her weight. I'm just here. Am if, I? I mean, if you want me to eat it, I could. I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to be uh, talking to uh, Beyonce on what they're going to be uh, cooking up. I, you, you can already see their T-shirts and the red colors and yes. all that. So it's something Indomie-ish. Yes, it is. <laughs> Ola Bisi Falari is a professional <laughs> counselor with over two decades of experience. And she's going to be talking to us about deep questions to ask in a relationship. On nutrition, Tolani Fashion, a nutritional enthusiast, would join us to talk about the COVID-19 nutrition crisis, what to expect and how to protect ourselves. Of course, Wednesdays are for life hacks and MM is here and she has something special for us. As usual. <laughs> And next up, we have Falano. She is a Nigerian-Canadian soul singer, musician, and self-credited soul fusion player. Her sound is a mix of Afrobeat and soul music. And we will be talking to her later on the show. And puts it in a bloody glass box. And names it. Then puts it in our history books for us to read about. Those artworks were created by us. They were created for us. They belong to us. I know. I know I sound crazy. But I'm pissed off. And I'm guessing whoever stole those works must have been pissed off too. Sometimes I just, I just feel like our people are not frustrated enough. And that's one of the reasons I left Nigeria. Because I felt like I cared too much. And then those corrupt politicians, they just take and take and take. And I just want to get out a placard and protest. Oh, I did. 
when I was in the university. And sometimes I would just be there. It must seem really <laughs> awkward watching nice. yourself. It was so awkward. You it was so no awkward idea. watching you right I'm now. I'm just like, what was that? Uh, and I like the touch. There's no makeup. You know, yeah. you had this Afro African girl thing yeah. going on. You left Nigerian That's an extra really. touch. I left that. Oh wow, wow. <laughs> he did just call you from. She said I left Nigeria in Suruleri. <laughs> Well, that's okay. what she said. She said she left Nigeria in the I'm not saying Suruleri. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyway, really good. Uh, yeah. Well done. Thank you. Uh, so that monologue, of course, you know, made the, the judges like, okay. So it was the votes, right? And not just... So the votes takes you to the top six. Right, so we okay. had like 3,500 entries. Oh, so they selected okay. six of us. So now... The so you won out of 3,500 3,500. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Impressive. Well done, well done, Thank well you. Done. Wow. Thank you. Very yeah, good. So Amazing. That was a, that's yeah, very, pretty much very it. nice. <laughs> I, I mean, it's, uh, I think it's a, like a, a step in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Um, and also sort of uh, makes your name like a household name. So even if you've been doing, you know, sometimes you've been doing something for a long time. Yeah. And some so people know you, that yeah. That girl that won the rattlesnake challenge. Yes. That girl that won the rattlesnake yes. challenge. I don't know so about that. So this is more like a <laughs> breakthrough for you, yeah? Yes. By the grace of God. You must so proud. You must feel so proud. I'm happy. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know if I'm proud of myself, but I'm, I'm happy. It's still overwhelming. I mean, when people yeah. talk about it, I still feel like, it's me, oh, it's me. So it's good. Blow it's your good. trumpets. <laughs> anyway, we have to take uh, the, the news, news. Uh, updates now. And the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, reported 561 new cases of coronavirus overnight, taking the country's total number of cases to 25,000. 694. Lagos recorded the highest number of infections with 200 new cases, followed by Edo State with 119 cases. Koduna and Abuja recorded 52 cases each. Uh, Niger 32, Ogun 19, Ondo 16, Imo 14, Plateau 11, Abia and Oyo 8 cases each, Bayelsa 7, Katsina 6, Kano 5, Bochi, Kebi and Omshun 3 cases each, Borno 2, while Jigawa recorded one case. So far, 9,746 people have recovered and been discharged while 590 persons have died from COVID-related complications. In the meantime, the Senate suspended sitting yesterday in honor of their colleague who died on the 15th of June. Bayo Oshinawa represented Lagos East Senatorial District until he died. Uh, lawmakers describe his death as a rude shock and a painful loss to the assembly where he will be sorely missed for his in-death contributions. A minute silent was also held in the honor of Mr. Oshinawa, who until his death served as the chairman of the Committee on Capital Market. He's been here with us in the Senate. He's been a very calming influence. He's uh, a patriot, provided stability here in the Senate, gave us all the support, especially we in the leadership, needed to keep this house going. Uh, his contributions were very, very impactful. I didn't mention that we need prayers in the Senate because uh, it has never happened before where people have died back to back within a short period in the National Assembly. And uh, I still believe that as Christians and Muslims who believe in God, there's a need for us to pray. Uh, you know, it's, it's totally unusual. And I hope that his soul will rest in perfect peace. No one believed that such an energetic young man who, who is known by all of us as someone who is very jovial, very friendly, uh, would just pass on the monastery this way. Losing four colleagues within one year definitely uh, it's, it's so much to bear, you know, by any right-thinking uh, person. Uh, but one thing is certain, God Almighty uh, is the one in whose hands we have our times, you know, and seasons. Governor of Ondo State, Rotimi Akiridulu, has tested positive for the coronavirus. The governor on his verified Twitter handle said, 
uh, he got confirmation of a positive result for COVID-19. He said he's asymptomatic and not displaying any symptoms. The Ondo State Governor said, uh, quote, I am currently self-isolating and supervised home management will be administered by the wonderful team of our infectious diseases hospital. I ask that we all stay safe and be well. I am asymptomatic. I don't know if I'm not feeling sick, neither am I feeling hard in any way. So from now, I will be isolated and go on with the supervised home management. My trust in God to get through this is unshaking. Please, my people, if you have malaria or other things, get tested. We never know. So I thank God for the discovery of this on time. Well, that's it on the news update for this hour. After the break, we'll bring you the newspaper headlines. guys and um, welcome to the fitness segment on your number one breakfast show my name is Ben Fitz and today is going to be more of cardio exercise as you can see I'm working from home and it's very very important for you to stay safe at home this is one of the very very important things we need to do today I'm going to be taking you more of cardio exercises so if you're watching this at home let's go stretch 10 seconds come on 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 two and one shoulder roll that's good yes four three two and shake it up shake it up shake it up shake it up all right are you ready are you ready are you ready okay your two hands this way on people one two three come on four five six seven eight nine take it up one go two three four five six seven eight nine Ten, go, ten, come on, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, go, 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 two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, go, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, shake it out, shake it out, that's good, that's good. Yes, another exercise we're going to take. Take your side and your short full touch. That's good. Come on, side to side. These are exercises you can do in your living room. That's good, that's good. Keep moving, keep moving. That's good, that's good. Shake it up. Let's go, let's go. Where can you get this? Wake up, Nigeria. We come all hard for you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. That's good. Shake it. I told you it's going to be more of cardio exercise this morning. Cardio, cardio, cardio. So, if you're watching, don't go anywhere. The best time you can achieve your fitness goal is now. Are you ready for the next exercise? One, two, go forward. One, two, come on. Three, go, 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 go. For those that have more energy, you can sustain. Take it side, take it side, take it side. Keep moving. That's good, that's good. Come on. Five more. Four, three. Two and one. All right, good job. I'm going to repeat the shuffle now. Woo! Yes, yes. Just make sure you're working out. Are you ready? Shuffle, three, go. I told you I'm working from home. Yes, and I'm sure everybody should be at home by now. The best way to actually get rid of coronavirus is by you staying indoor. Let's go, 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 go. Come on. Don't stop, don't stop. You have five seconds to go. Four seconds. Three, two, and one. Woo! Are you ready? High news. Three, two, one, go. Woo, woo. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't stop. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, woo! That's one. Are you ready for the next one? Ready? This is the last exercise, and of course, I have to encourage you to repeat these exercises. Ready? Go! Take it down. Down. That's good. That's good. Come on. 
Good job. Don't stop, don't stop. Don't stop. Five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, you know how we take you through all exercises on Wake Up Nigeria. I will challenge you to wake up more, challenge yourself. Please and please stay safe at home. That's the best way to get rid of coronavirus. That's the best way to get it out of our land. Make sure you stay safe at home and don't forget, we love you. Encourage yourself and keep watching. Wake up Nigeria. Welcome to the kitchen. So you guys know that I'm usually like the super of chef of the show, but I think the pro <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. You know what I was going to say? I think the producers really wanted to to give me a run for my money. But you know what? This chef Meyonce is laughing like I'm cracking some jokes. It's okay. I still remain the super chef of Wake Up Nigeria. I don't care about anybody else. But we have I, I, I beg to differ. Who is this, please? Who is this? I mean, people that have watched Wake Up Nigeria since they were would know. Yeah, but they know that I came. Please, we have somebody here. But we have a special guest, Chef Hannah. I don't really care about Chef Mio say oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Chef Hanna, thank she's, you so much just... for coming. You're such a beauty and such a delight to oh, have you here. Thank but you say hi. I mean, I, I understand it's healthy rivalry, but I mean, it's not more rivalry. It's just like um, Liverpool against uh, Brighton or something. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> but I'm, Man I'm Manchester United and you're Brighton. I dusted you last night. But moving on, it's so good to have you here, Chef Mionte. Welcome thank back you, to the you. show. And I'm sure you all can see how colorful the table is. We are, go we are going to be preparing something from Indomie Cafe. Now, you might not have heard about them, but that's why we have Chef Mionte and Hannah here. So Mionte will quickly run us through what we're preparing today. Okay, so I am the voice and Chef Anna is the hands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, um, so basically uh, we are preparing two exciting recipes from Indomie Cafe. All right. The first is going to be Indomie Frittata. Okay. And the second is Indomie Africana. Okay. So we will start with Indomie um, Frittata. Frittata. So, Chef Anna, you can start. So basically this is egg based. Okay. Yes, it is just like you're eating something that's been baked. Oh, but okay. This will be done on the gas stop. Oh, okay. Yes, it's okay. really an exciting recipe. Um, so basically, what we try to do at Indomie Cafe mm -hmm. is come up with inventive and innovative recipes For that you would not regularly get. Of course, of course. So that is why it's Indomie Cafe. Okay. It's unique recipes yeah. that we make. And um, also, the interesting thing about um, Indomie Cafe is yeah. you can actually get these uh, recipes to you. You can oh. ask, yeah, you can order, you can order the it. The recipes or the, you can order no, the food? No, the, the food actually. The food. Oh, yes, you, okay. can, you can order it online. Um, basically, all you need to do is go to Indomie Cafe, their Instagram page. Once you get to their Instagram page, yeah. we have Indomie Cafe on, on in Lekki, in VI, okay. and also in Surulere. Oh, great. Yes. So once you log, log into Instagram and you check at Indomie Cafe, mm -hmm. you're going to see the numbers where you can call. Yes, you can call to get your delicious recipe. recipes. Yeah, and today, we're I mean, doing, we're this doing is a beautiful frittata. spread of vegetables. Yeah, now for people who are just joining us, we're going to quickly run through the menu for the frittata first. So you, you might want to start scribbling down if you want to try a homemade frittata recipe. So just quickly run us through what we have. Okay, so basically we'll be making use of oil, yeah. um, vegetable oil, mm -hmm. spring onions, sweet corn, sausages. Now this is a special chili sauce. Okay. For, it's a signature chili sauce from Indomie Cafe. Cafe, okay. Yes, we'll be, be making use of eggs, okay. carrots. Now, beautiful spread of bell peppers. Bell peppers. Red, green, yellow. Yellow. Fantastic, yeah? Okay. And onions. Onions, So okay. right now we are cooking our Indomie noodles and when yeah. it's done, we are adding our chilies and all of the ingre ingredients. I mean, it's more, more or less like a one pot recipe. Oh, okay, okay. Now talking about the Indomie cafe, I'm, I'm really interested in that. So we have Lekki, we have VI, we have Surulere. Yes. You can call in. Now, what are the prices like? They are very, very affordable. For we grassroots people, <laughs> we as in we have 250 <laughs> and 100 naira or 500 <laughs> and 15. They are very, very affordable. They are very affordable, okay. I know you could talk about so the prices. So tell us about the prices. Okay. Like, because it's I can see there's a big box and there's, there's like a small, a small box, box. Yeah. yeah. 
So the big box goes for how much? Okay, the big box is our maxi pack. Okay. And the small pack is our mini pack. Okay. We actually have different recipes. Oh. And the different recipes has different prices okay. for each. Um, and we also have for mini and yeah. for max. Maxi. All the recipes we have, um, like for instance, if you're going for the jollof, yeah. it's quite different from the price for Africana. Africana. But they all taste very delicious. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. <laughs> and that's why we're here. I mean, <laughs> this, is, this, this is a ministry that it has to be tasted at. Trusted. I'm so you know, happy that I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not, it's not, this, this is not the Tok Tok ministry. You know? you, we, we don't need to say it. You, you taste to, it. I will taste it. And yet, you know the good thing is not who you cooking. <laughs> it's Chef Hannah. So she's my friend. I mean, we are the chefs here. You are just our talker. You're just talking for us to do. All right. So, I mean, you, did, you didn't come to compete with me. I mean, it's okay. I'll just leave you to be here. Okay, so now how long are we going to let that boil for? Okay, for like three minutes. Three minutes? Yes. Okay. So once um, it's three minutes, we just sieve out the water and yeah. start the process for the cooking of the frittatas. Wow, so there's now process. Guys, you know, all of you that be feeling like Indomie champions, I know my friends watching this will just be like, ah, talk about you to feel like a champion. Today, I'm humble. I'm just going to watch, and if I, if I don't learn it, you know, it's not a problem. I'll just order it when you guys come to my house. You just eat it. We'll snap picture and say, Beyonce, we ate it though. <laughs> <laughs> we ordered though. So now, because of the social distancing and all, so um, it get, it, you don't need to pick up. They deliver to you, right? Fantastic. Um, first, I would like to highlight is how hygienic we keep the Indomie Cafe and how the food is being served. Yeah. We handle the food in the most hygienic way possible. Oh, the great. best of the best practices, food practices that you would find. Um, it is not... We're not doing roadside things here. Yeah. As you can see, even from the park, it's you will know that. I want to stuff. You know, that it's like level past level. Level past level. <laughs> you understand? So basically, um, this is beautiful parks, beautiful yes. packaging. And another thing is the delivery. We also um, undertake um, yeah. the contactless Contactless delivery. delivery. Oh, that's So great. you don't need to see anybody. anybody. I mean, it's, it's just going to be delivered to you. So you and I mean, we understand the times where we are in. We're in, yes. So hygiene is very, very important. You know what? Let's not give them so much so that they'll still stay. You know what? <laughs> We're going to take on a lighter note now. When we come back, you know that there's so much happening in this kitchen. We have to see what Indomie Cafe has for us. Welcome back. You're on to Wake Up Nigeria. And of course, we are moving on to our relationship discussion this morning and Olabi Sifolari is a professional counsellor with over two decades of experience. She's also a certified relationship and marriage counsellor. She's the founder and head of faculty at Threefold Cord Marriage Academy, a marriage institute. Today, she'll be talking to us about deeply personal questions to ask your partner before taking your relationship to the next level. Hello, Ms. BC. Hello. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So now let's just head right to it. <laughs> let's just rip the band-aid off. What are those okay. questions we should ask before taking our relationship to the next level? And what are the signs, first of all, that you'd see before you're, you know, pushed to, you know, and make those or ask those questions. Um, okay. Um, first of all, I want to say I'll be taking this up from the uh, point where you guys agree. You know, I think we good. We need, we're good. We need to take this to the next level. That's we're looking at marriage in view. Where marriage in view. Courtship. Okay. Yes. Yes. So I'm taking it from that point. Okay. Now, um, you're saying, uh, what signs do you need to see before you can ask? I don't think you need any signs. Okay. Okay. This is about your life, either male or female. So you want to be sure you are dotting your um, eyes and crossing your T's. So okay. you don't need a prompt to find out these questions. At this point, you need to be doing, asking a lot of questions and they should be the right questions and having ongoing conversations. So I'll just go right into it. I think the first thing, you know, you want to find out at that point when he says, you know what, I want to get married to you and you agree and you know what, let's proceed on, on a um, courtship, we're engaged, we want to walk towards marriage. The first thing you should be asking of is so, um, when exactly are we looking at, when I, what, what I mean by that is when is this all going to culminate into that um, goal we have in view? We're having marriage in view, so when are we looking at? 
Now, what this does for you is that it puts that um, relationship in perspective. It gives it traction. It makes you know, okay, we're, in, we're engaged, we're about to get married, but we have a date we're looking at. Because until you have a goal, which is maybe next year or two years, you most likely won't commit to a plan. Once there's a goal, then you can begin to think of planning towards it. And asking such questions for the men might be a bit uncomfortable. Exactly. But if you're telling me you want to get married to me mm -hmm. and you, you have marriage in view, then we need to start asking pointed questions. When are you looking at? When do you want us to get married? That might be disconcerting, but it will lead you to deeper questions. Mm. At that point, other things you guys are not thinking of will begin to surface. Like for the lady, her parents might want her to go for her master's. They're like, you know, you're, into, you're telling us you have a guy, you have marriage in view. Hey, 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 hold on. You know what? We want our daughter to go for her master's. You are well ready. You have a good job. We also want to make sure our daughter is in a good stead. Those kind of conversations won't come in if you don't have a goal in terms of date. When are we looking at? Okay. okay? If that comes up and she goes back to the guy, you know, my parents have this, then it helps them to begin to put things in perspective. perspective. You know, in, in Africa, you can't remove parents from the equation. So yeah. those kind of questions open up larger conversations like that. So, okay. Um, can I go ahead with other things? Yes, you can go ahead with other questions. Okay, the number two thing I would um, like to say is you need to ask pointed questions like, is there anything I could do that would ever offend you? You're, at this point, you're trying to find out um, what their um, elasticity, elasticity, pardon me, is concerning certain things. You want to find out what can I possibly do that will make you walk out, you know, of this relationship. What's the deal even breaker? Even at the point of being married. Deal breaker, thank you. Okay. Deal breaker, what could be a deal breaker for you? I'll give you a practical example. So um, I had a friend that, you know, they are both faith-based, they are Christians, and the guy was a pastor at that point. And she all she goes all in one of those dates, you know, she, she was telling me, she goes all, oh, you know what, I love you so much, there is nothing, there is nothing, let me just give you advance apology. There's nothing you can ever do, even in marriage that will make me walk away, I will forgive you. And she said she got the shock of her, like when the guy looked at her straight in the face and said, you know what, I cannot stand or bear the thought of another man sleeping with my wife. Oh. You know, she said she was shocked at that point because, I mean, this was a, a, a pastor, you know, in court, and she felt, I mean, she was able to forgive anything, but he made it quite clear on the spot. It's wow. a no-no for me. I can't bear that. And it was a brain reset for her. It okay. really got her thinking like, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> this guy's not joking here. So those kind of pointed questions, you know, help you, put you in a good state to know what this person can take. This is a deal breaker. Don't assume that this person is, you know, somebody of very high yeah. spiritual faith or whatever. You need to yeah. ask questions so that you know where you stand with them. And so that really helped her. She didn't find it funny, but it helped her know, look, this is it. He didn't say, I love you, Torito, no, whatever you do. He says, no, that particular one said, no, no, I'm walking away. Okay, okay? now, um, let's, so, okay, let's talk about goals because um, okay. there are questions about long-term, short-term goals. I mean, it's important to know, you know, okay. what what this person's plan, what your your significant other's plan is in the next five, yes. ten years, which of course helps yes. to, you know, put the structure of your family in place. So, what do you have to say about that? Okay, that, that that's why I started with, you know, first of all, when are we looking at this, you know, culminating into marriage when we begin to live together? Now, talking about goals, it will, it will help. If you have, if at that point all you have is your BSc, you're thinking of masters, you're thinking of traveling abroad, like you said, structure, it begins to inform, oh, are we really sure we can tie the knot in two years' time? Or can we just tie the knot and thereafter proceed, you can proceed on your masters? And at this point, you need to have this conversation because a lot of times when people get married, they find out that, you know, for the women, the guys are not willing to, you know, after all, <laughs> agree to that. I mean, you can't just leave me, you want to travel. But if you have had that conversation and gotten a commitment, yeah. it's no longer a story of, you know, you can't be in the way of my goals. You want to get them to commit. Are you saying I can do whatever it is I want to do along the area of my career? And, you know, this, that, that. So those are all conversations. It helps put, put structure so nobody okay. feels, but well, I wasn't aware of that. Okay. That's why you, you need to keep having those ongoing conversations. All right. Thank you so okay. much, Miss BC. Um, for these nuggets this morning. I'm sure, I mean, people watching have been able to learn one or two things. All right, so there's so much happening in the kitchen. I mean, yes. 
Guys, if you're in this studio right now, the aroma is amazing. <laughs> Titi, <laughs> tell me what's happening. My name is Talkway Boy. It's okay. I'm going to take it. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to take it. You see how that aroma is confusing you? <laughs> the aroma is confusing. If you're, one of, if you're in this studio and you're doing um, mm -hmm. first of the month fasting, I really don't know how you're going to do it because Hannah and Chef Beyonce are taking us on a journey. Now, if you're just tuning in, we're making um, Indomie frittata, and we're also going to be making Indomie Africana, yep. right? Great. Yes, very correct. Yeah, so could you just quickly walk us through what we did while um, we were watching um, the relationship segment? Okay, so basically, we cooked the Indomie. Yeah. And um, what we did is saute the vegetables. Okay. And we added the Indomie seasoning into the eggs. Oh, okay. Yeah. And all of this will come together right about now. Now, okay. Okay. So this is how we mesmerize our clients. Our clients. You know, when they come to the Indomie Cafe. Yeah. But for now, yes. we, we can't do the coming. The coming into yeah. the cafe. So let the food come and meet you. Yes, and I think it's, it just makes life a lot easier. Plus, you know that Indomie doesn't take so long to cook. So when you know, oh, yeah, I'm going to eat it like 30 minutes. You just order from the Indomie Cafe. I mean, it's express, deliver. express delivery. Oh, great. So we've added our signature chili sauce okay. into the eggs and... And then that's gonna go. Oh, we also yes. fried the sausages. Yes, we already, yes, we did that already. We, okay. we kind of sauteed them as well. Okay. I wanna see how it comes together with this egg. I mean, egg is gonna bind it. Yes, that's what I wanna see. That's gonna look like a pizza. Something like Something that. Something like that. It should are we, like are we gonna put it here? Yeah. We're yes. we gonna put it here. We're gonna yes. put it, ooh. <laughs> are we gonna have chopsticks? <laughs> you like food too much. <laughs> On live TV. You, you know, but we, isn't, we, we, isn't it that you're that you like my segment? Something, uh, but you, you, Yomi, why are you here? Why are you here? Exactly, yeah. we agree on one I thing, was, Beyonce. I, yeah? I was drawn yeah. by the... Yomi, please, undraw yourself. By <laughs> so, you we, we, I don't like we did, this. We did it in such a way that it's just, we're serving just one portion. Okay, so... For one the, portion, and which is not for you. So from this kitchen, it's I've, I've already stolen a carrot. And yes, eating and sweet corn. I saw you eating sweet corn. Yeah, Why? I've, I've had some. I was really it's hungry. See, he has not eaten things like this before. <laughs> Indomie cafe <laughs> to the wind. Okay, so this is interesting. I love it. Yeah, yeah I mean, I just, this, I just the smell from the vegetables. And, I mean, and now the she's whisking. Sausages. Yes, she's whisking it together because at the end of the day, it's going to cake up. So it's going to look like, like you're right inside the pizza. Pizza, okay. Yeah. Wow. This is interesting. So everything is just going into one pot recipe. Wow. Hmm. So, I mean, you, you could make it at home, but trust me, um, you'll be missing out on the on signature, the signature chili, chili. chili sauce, yes. Hmm. And um, we want to take the stress off you, honestly. Yeah. Like, so do we get, is, is there something we have to do to win Chef Mionse to deliver to us directly? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I we should come on, I don't understand this question. <laughs> to and you stand a chance of having Chef Mignonce <laughs> deliver directly to you. No, it can't be true. <laughs> you order like 50. Uh, <laughs> wow. Social distancing. We can't have more than 20 people in our house. I mean... So we can't have Chef Mignonce. Uh, chef, chef Mignonce is not cheap. <laughs> All right. Look at that. I love it. Look. Wow, this is nice. With... Ha, you know what? I'm ordering this... After I eat it today, yeah, you see, you, you, you said should. that, yeah. So I'm eating it. You, you will, you will. I, I mean, will. I'll, give, in, in I'll give you the best. In Indomie, we believe, believe in one, sharing. This is one portion, Toppe. Uh -huh, I'll eat it. It's actually not one portion. Oh, okay. He's trying but to tell me that it's too much. I, 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 I believe um, this is going to be for the camera crew and not for you guys. <laughs> We should just be sending this. We should just tell this Miyose to be come out, to come and be going. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so this is just going to cook. It's going to yeah. cook perfectly. It's going to cake together. Yeah. Um. So basically, if you are wondering why Indomie is caking together, it's the egg Eggs. that has acted as a binder in yeah. the recipe. So um, yes, it's just going to cook and okay, when it's so done. While, while this is cooking and getting together in the most colorful state I have ever seen, we're going to go on a quick break. And when we come back, Wake Up Nigeria continues. Don't go anywhere. Well, if you have been with us through the first hour of the show and the second hour, 
your real MVP. Thank you for uh, staying with us. And if you just joined us, well, uh, get ready for a whole new TV experience kicking off in a bit. Yes, and that starts right now. Welcome to the last 45 minutes on Wake Up Nigeria. We still have a lot of amazing things coming your way. My name is Tokwe Oleoneo. And I'm Yomi Ope. Remember, you have the option of streaming the show live right now at tvcentertainment.tv and on Facebook at TVC Connect. Yeah, also join the conversation. Tell us what you think about the Indomie Cafe. Tell us what your plans for July is. Use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Hmm. And uh, of course, you can watch uh, other exciting episodes of the show and little clips of the kitchen and interviews and different things uh, if you go on our YouTube page and check us out at TVC Entertainment. Search yes. for it on YouTube. Yes, and also this Friday, we have someone special joining us on Wake Up Extra. Now, this happens every Friday at 2.30 p.m. on Instagram Live. You don't want to miss that. Mm, all right, so uh, you, you've been in the kitchen. Yes, Looks like I something have. really fresh and yes. nice. Yes, I mean, I've seen, I'm seeing Indomie in a whole new dimension. Look at that. Look at that. Ah. That's Indomie. <laughs> We have Chef Beyonce and Hannah. They've been really giving us interesting ways of making the Indomie frittata. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Beyonce. Hi, Beyonce. I mean, like that. Yeah. <laughs> can you make your Indomie like that? Can you? Can you be there? Can you? Can you? <laughs> I'm not going to be surprised if Tokwe does that. I'm going to, you know me. And I'm going to tag Beyonce. She I'm going does. to tag Beyonce so he knows that I'm better than him on this. Well, I'm moving. My page. See, don't, don't put me up for a challenge. I'm going to win you. Don't put me up for a challenge. All right, you guys. <laughs> uh, this morning, we still have our nutrition coming up. Tolani yes. Fashion is going to be joining us. Uh, she is a nutritional uh, enthusiast. And I'm going to be talking about the COVID-19 crisis, what to expect and what to do. Of course, Wednesdays are for life hacks, and MM has something special for us. You definitely don't want to miss that. Uh, Falana is a Nigerian Canadian soul singer, a musician, and self credited soul fusion player. Her sound is a mix of Afrobeat. The best and soul way to music. find out is to put yourself. Uh, you know, this morning on our way to the office, my mm -hmm. husband and I were having a conversation about the venomous people on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just needed to emphasize on it. So, I mean, okay, so what, what um, sport the conversation was a picture of Kafi. Mm. She recently celebrated her fourth year and okay. there's a picture of her standing with her husband sitting. Oh, okay. Oh, right. uh, with, you know, with the two kids okay. on his, by his side. Okay. Mm. And then people, okay, so there was a caption, the Kafis. Okay. All right. The cafes, you know, and there were so many comments. Yes. Why is it cafe? Why is it cafe? Oh, so oh. it has now gone to that point where we now bear our mother's names. Oh my days. <laughs> um, and our wives' names. Our or our wives' names, and mm. people and people were like, "Come on, it's just a picture." Mm -hmm. Besides, I think I guess it's the caption that just threw people off. Oh. Mm. I mean, nobody knows him. People know her. her. You get, and then someone said, oh yeah, but he's Peace Quest drummer. I said, well, well he's not easily identifiable. As that. But really, you know, whatever as it is that he is, so, if he has no problem with it, I don't see exactly. why we should be entitled. Because Nigerians are very entitled. They feel like they all have a stake in your life. Exactly. Most especially when you're, you're, when you're a public figure, they feel like I owe it to you to tell you my opinion and you must take it. And that's why they stay behind their keyboard to and keep just, and yeah. just going at Exactly. So I, I think, look, for, for me, it's, it's, whether it's on Twitter or any other uh, social media uh, page, Platform. it's really about um, understanding who you are mm -hmm. and then not responding to trolls. Yeah. So whatever is put out there, sometimes even a photo that can be put out that is not even... Uh, and a caption can be put out that is not relevant to you as a person. Mm -hmm. So it could be your picture, yeah. but just somebody else's caption or yeah. whatever else that they said. So somebody could have said the cafes and not necessarily her that put that out. There were and so, so it, it shouldn't matter that much. Yeah. But, yeah, and then people also need to, public figures and whoever, um, whoever gets trolled, you need to even get to build your strength because uh, sometimes you well, want to clap your back. Thick, mm. You have to, you want to like clap a thick back. skin. <laughs> Yeah, but I always, always advise clap back. 
clap back when you when he hits you so that they know that you think you can talk. Yeah, Me too, me I too can, I can talk. talk. <laughs> All right, it's time for us to take the news and the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, reported 561 new cases of coronavirus overnight, taking the country's total number to, of cases to 25,694. Lagos recorded the highest number of infections with 200 new cases, followed by Edo State with 119 cases. Koduna and Obuja recorded 52 cases each. Niger 32, Ogun 19, Ondo 16, Imo 14, Plateau 11, Abia and Oyo 8 cases each. Bayelsa 7, Katsina 6, Kano 5, Bauchi, Kebi and Oshun 3 cases each. But no two, while Jigawa recorded one case. So far, 9,746 people have recovered and been discharged, while 590 persons have died from COVID related complications. In the meantime, the Senate suspended a seating uh, yesterday in honor of their colleague who died on the 15th of June. Bayo Oshino represented Lagos East Senatorial District until he passed away. Uh, lawmakers describe his death as a rude shock and a painful loss to the assembly, where he will be sorely missed for his contributions. Uh, a minute silence was also held in honor of Mr. Oshinawa, who until his death served as the chairman of the Committee on Capital Market. A governor of Ondo State, Rotimi Akeridolu, has tested positive for the coronavirus. The governor on his Twitter handle said he got confirmation of a positive result for COVID-19. He said he's asymptomatic and not displaying any symptoms. But for last minute changes, Nigerians would have started paying a higher fee for electricity from today. The leadership of the National Assembly halted this move, saying a hike in electricity tariffs must be deferred till the first quarter of next year. They said uh, while the increase in tariff was necessary, the timing was bad. The electricity distribution companies, however, agreed to suspend the planned increase in electricity tariff after a meeting with the National Assembly leadership. Now over to Hong Kong, uh, where they woke up to a new reality. Uh, on Wednesday, after China's central government imposed a sweeping national security law that critics say has uh, stripped the city of its autonomy and cements Beijing's authoritarian rule over the territory. Uh, the law comes into effect in Hong Kong as the city celebrates the 23rd anniversary of the handover of Hong Kong from British rule to China. The new legislation offers the government, courts, uh, police and authorities a roadmap to quash any hint of uh, the anti-mask government protests that rocked the city last year. People who are convicted of such crimes will be extradited to China and can face sentences of up to life in prison. Well, that's it on the news update on Wake Up Nigeria for today. Welcome back. It's time for some uh, nutrition. And nutrition is the science that interprets uh, the nutrients and how they help fuel our bodies. Uh, we are joined by a nutritionist this morning, uh, Tolani Fashio. Now, she is an enthusiast with many years' experience, and she will be talking to us about the COVID 19 nutrition crisis and uh, what to expect and how to protect ourselves. Hi, Tolani. Good morning to you. Hi, Yomi. Good morning. So, excellent. Uh, now, when this uh, COVID pandemic started, people were talking about protecting yourself, uh, boosting your immunity, and, you know, so many different things that we heard. Sometimes, a lot of times, it was conflicting what we heard. But what um, are your thoughts and what are your recommendations for nutrition uh, during this period? Yes, I would want to emphasize uh, that um, when we talk about the immune system or immunity now, with the innate and the acquired uh, immune system, the role of nutrition is integral. I mean, you can't just, I mean, nutrition is the major, major, major building block to having 
in a strong immune system. Because the immune system is actually the body's mechanism. It's, it's a network of um, the organs, the system, uh, you know, the, the, the buildup that the body puts up to, to prevent infections, uh, all forms of pathogens from entering the body or from, and from causing damages. So um, how, how, how does, um, uh, why is nutrition integral now? We understand that the process of malnutrition, when we talk about uh, malnutrition, it, it, uh, usually people believe that malnutrition means you have kwashoko, you have uh, marasmus, you're not feeding right. But malnutrition could be either overnutrition, that means those that are obese and um, the likes of that, or undernutrition, those that are not well-fed and, you know, the likes of that. So when people are having issues with malnutrition, they have a weakened immune system. And then some two other persons that may not really have malnutrition, but they can have an immune system that is not a, 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 a immunity that is not so so strong are the aged and the babies because babies you know we have the innate and the acquired immune system in babies the innate which comes at birth and which provides the first barrier is more developed in children but the acquired immunity develops over time mm. and that is weak in children so the children and the aged people they are more at risk, I mean, without the issue of nutrition now. But mm. malnutrition affects everybody. You could be overnutrition, you could have overnutrition or undernutrition. So okay, all right. Tolani, so talk to us about, um, uh, so now, now that, uh, I mean, a lot of countries are facing a crisis, and some people are, are even thinking that there might be food shortages in, in some areas. Uh, what are the things that families should be looking at? Because, you know, the, now we're talking to the family unit, children, uh, um, fathers, mothers, uh, and uh, even teenagers and stuff like that. What are the things that families should be looking at when it comes to nutrition in their meals? Because I've heard that there are some people who, who eat and they're full, but they're not, they, they're not used, getting enough nutrients. Hello? Hello? Uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? I can't. Ah, Tolani, can you hear me now? Okay, we're trying to we're trying to reconnect uh, with uh, Tolani there. Hi, Tolani, can you hear me now? Uh, okay, so it looks like uh, it looks like the the connection with Tolani there is bad. We'll have to find a way to reconnect with her. But uh, you know, basically, it's really about boosting your immune system this period with the right kinds of foods and not just uh, nutritional supplements like multivitamins and vitamin C and, and things like that. But hopefully, we'll have her back on the show to give us more uh, insight into that area. And uh, well, on that note, we're heading over to MM now for uh, this week's life hacks thank you very much yummy all right so it's that time of the show where i give you nuggets novelties that just make life easier for you and i'll be starting with luggage yes what do you do where you can tell your luggage apart from some other person who has the same type of luggage, especially at the carousel, at the airports. I'm also going to be throwing this question to Yomi because I know he travels often. Have you ever been in that situation where you have, you know, confused your luggage for somebody else's? <laughs> yeah, that happens a lot. And, you know, it, I mean, it doesn't end up in arguments, but uh, I'm sure that with this life hack, we'll be able to get something that is a of bit... Of course. I've that got will help. you that covered. Will help. You don't yeah. have to <laughs> <laughs> be in that confused state anymore. Anyways, how to easily tell your luggage at the airport is using a... So just get a bright colored fabric or you can use an Ankara one. It really doesn't have to be, you know, 
uh, nicely done. Just a regular fabric. Just cut out a piece of fabric as long as it's colorful or you could use Ankara. So why I'm using Ankara is because it has a lot of bright colors on it. And you just tie it to the hand of your luggage. And that way, while your luggage is coming down the carousel at the airport, you can easily tell. Don't you think so, Yummy? So you don't have to go and be fighting with anybody at the airport anymore. Next stop, I know that many of us who really do not like to eat the end of our bread. Are you one of those people? Well, here is a trick that you could use when, you know, having to deal with bread end. So basically what you can do is you turn it inwards, you turn it the outward part inwards, and then you can serve it as sandwich to your kids. So that way, well, no one would actually, you know, tell if it is the bread end or not, and you could just use whatever spread you want to use on it and serve. Have you ever had to deal with smelly shoes? Have you ever, okay, so I went through this question to Tokwe and Beyonce. Have you guys ever had to deal with smelly shoes? Okay, maybe Yomi can, you know, give me that, tell me that whilst, you know. Yomi, smelly shoes, what do you do with your smelly oh, yeah, shoes? That happens a lot, especially with gym shoes, because um, I sweat a lot in my gym shoes. And uh, I typically just, you know, put them out to dry or you know, have, wash my socks. Okay, so how to get rid of smelly shoes, basically, is you either, you either put some um, rice in a socks and put it inside the shoes. So what the rice does actually is, um, it, what it does is actually help to absorb all of the smell from the shoes. Another trick that works is coffee. You can put that in a pair of socks or tea bags, especially scented ones. There's some really nice tea bags that you can, you know, that have really, really lovely flavors. So you just put them into your shoes. And what they do is, you know, it basically just permeates through all that smell, leaving your shoe smelling better. Another trick that could work for you if you are experiencing brain freeze. Have you ever had to deal with brain freeze and you know exactly what to do? Let's say after drinking a really cold cup of water or ice and you're left like Ugh, for a few seconds. What you can do is put your tongue on, rest your tongue at the roof of your mouth. So that actually helps to relieve the pain that you're going through in your head, at least for a few seconds. You can try that and let me know if it works for you. So that's it on Life Hacks for today. Too many interesting things happening. There's a last one I have that I'm go going to drop quickly. And it has to do with drinking milk when you take something spicy. I know that we are working with a lot of spice in the kitchen this morning. And I know that Beyonce likes Pepe. So I particularly actually want to know what he does when he actually takes something spicy. How do you get rid of that spice or that Pepe, you know, in your mouth, Beyonce? Okay, so basically, personally, I do not like pepe. Okay. But I cook for people that they like spicy food. Yeah. Um, how do I get it, get, get rid of it? Um, I drink a lot of water mm. and probably put some ice. Okay. Or um, I just wait it out <laughs> and be like. <sighs> <laughs> you should feel like that's what you do most of the time, but okay. Yeah, you know, but I, I personally feel like pepper sort of takes away from the flavor of the food. All like, right, so what you can do to instantly get rid of that spice or pepper in your mouth is just drink a glass of milk and it would just disappear like, you know, it never was there, just like that. Also, have you ever been okay. faced in a situation where you had to accidentally send a text message? Have you guys ever been in that situation before? What did you do? I'd like to know. <laughs> I just remembered. I put my phone on flight mode immediately. Oh, yes. <laughs> So I quite got it. Yes, oh, really? that's why act yeah, actually it works. <laughs> so yeah. if you're if you've you ever be faced in that message. situation where you accidentally send a text message to someone that you didn't think, 
you know, that, that, you know, maybe an erroneous message or something, what you quickly do is just put your phone on flight mode and immediately the message bounces back. You, the person doesn't get the message. That's what you could actually do if you're ever faced in that kind of situation. And like I said, there are so, 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 so many life hacks. Today is basically like a, a tutorial kind of life hacks. We are teaching you on just basic tricks to just make life easier for you. There's still so much more. I think we have Fala not coming up next, guys. You don't want to miss this interview. Please stay with us. Welcome back. Now, she is born, uh, was born in Canada to Nigerian parents. Uh, and of course, she's named Victoria Falana. Uh, she is, uh, of course, a musician, uh, simply known as Falana. And she is a soul singer and self-credited soul fusion player. She's going to tell us what that means, soul fusion. Yeah. And uh, her sound is a mix of Afrobeat and soul music. Yes, in 2014, her first EP was released, which contained five songs titled Things Fall Apart. Mm. Hi, Falano. Hi, good morning. How are good you? Good morning. How are you doing? Yeah. I'm great. I'm wonderful. How are you guys doing? Excellent. I'm, I'm liking this, your signature hair. Yeah, it looks like... so beautiful. It's uh, <laughs> very good, very you good. You can try it one day. You should try it yourself, actually. I'm yeah. definitely you, going to jump on you, it. You've been on our show before. Um, <laughs> When, yes, your concert, when your concert was coming up uh, last year, uh, yes. and you, you got really good reviews. Uh, I mean, that was right after your EP, and then you had that concert. Mm -hmm. No, it was an amazing experience. Like, we, it was an Africa-wide um, concert. So we did Rwanda, uh, Kigali. Um, we did Accra, Ghana, and we went to Abuja, and we did Lagos as well. So that mm. was a really amazing way to just kind of support my last project, but I'm really excited to talk about the new music that's coming out, like okay. all artists are. Okay. But we've been working on something, you know. Um, so yeah, I've been like more traveling, but I was lucky enough to go to um, Jamaica. I was in Jamaica for, I went to Jamaica twice before the whole lockdown happened. Okay. So I'm really grateful that I had the opportunity. I was working with amazing producers, like uh, one of my, uh, Teflon, who was recently working with Coffee. Yeah. On her project that won a Grammy. Oh, okay. Um, I was working with Dale. Dale's work with Rihanna and Drake, just Ooh. amazing artists. And I was also fortunate to go to Portugal. Like, and it's crazy because all of this happened before the everything lockdown. kind of locked down. So I yeah. almost feel like this album was meant to be. To be, yeah. And I'm really excited to start releasing the music. Okay. Um, I was in Sweden as well, working with um, amazing producer out there, Lucas. Um, who just so talented. So I'm able to bring like my own experience as a Nigerian singer and then that international flavor really blending sounds. You know, you're asking what mm -hmm. is soul fusion? I even feel like we move past soul fusion. I almost feel like my music has like it, it has elements of pop, it has elements of soul, has elements of Afrobeat, you know? So it's just it's really a distinct sound and I can't I can't wait to share um, okay. the music. Mm. All right. So um this album now when are we looking at you releasing it? So we, I think, so we're, we're probably going to start with a single beginning of September. Um, okay. You're the first people to find out, actually. Oh, out, so that's very good. Very nice. Looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it should come out beginning of September. We'll start with a single. And mm. then um, we'll move from there. So hopefully uh, another single, maybe an EP, depending on how I feel, you know? Okay. Yeah. But how confident <laughs> do you feel about this album? I'm... Honestly, I'm extremely confident. I think as an artist, you know, every project you, you create, yeah. you know, is, a, is you developing and evolving into something bigger and better than what you were. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm so grateful, not only that I had the opportunity to collaborate the way I collaborated, but also just to create music that I feel is, is grown from where I used to be. Mm -hmm. And that will reach farther than I could have ever imagined. And, you know, you'll listen, you'll hear the songs eventually, then you'll call yeah. me and you'll say, you know what, you were right. Of course. Uh, now, I would personally put you in a category of world music because of your varied experiences uh, and mm. all of that. You know, born in Canada, you did some work in Cuba, and now uh, you've gone totally global. Uh, talk to us about how all of these various influences is then sort of helping you evolve into the person you are. 
uh, having in mind that you're African and you're, of course it's Africans that still have to consume your, your material? Yes, well, I think number one, um, my music now in this project, it definitely feels more pop, which is new for me. People will be like, really? I'm like, yes. And you'll understand when the music comes out. And I think that the world is also changing. Like, um, we live in a, in a globalized society. So like borders, you know, are starting to kind of blur. We have artists from Nigeria collaborating with artists from the UK, from mm -hmm. Jamaica, from wherever. So I think that kind of gives me, I'm, I'm blessed to have that opportunity to have already kind of really explored collaborating with different people because I feel like that's now the new frontier, Nigerian artists going and like sharing what we can give, you know, internationally with other artists. So, mm. um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for the new music. I'm excited for that story to really come full circle and complete itself. And still, like, you can look at my music and you can look at my music video as someone in Nigeria and you can still see yourself. You know, I feel like I'm also writing from that place as well. Mm. So, yeah, it should be, it's exciting. Yeah. It's really exciting. Okay, we're definitely looking forward to that. I was going to ask you how, um, what pressures have you had to deal with during the lockdown and working on your projects? What did you, what pressures did you face uh, while reviewing, yeah. mastering, mixing your sounds? At what point did you feel like, oh, I need to take a break, this is too much for me? Yeah, um, well, obviously we have, like, you know, the issues of learning how to work remotely. So unfortunately yeah. for us, we have online ways of working and creating music. Okay. Um, I had most I recorded a lot of the music before the lockdown happened. Yeah. So the lockdown for me almost felt like an opportunity to start to start the process again in terms of writing, you know, just playing piano, pl like doing the things that when I started music in the beginning, what was I doing? I was playing guitar, I was playing piano, I was writing, I was producing. So I've really had the opportunity to revisit that. And I know a lot of people have spoken about, you know, having, looking at the bright side of things, even though yeah. we're in a very difficult, unprecedented time. Yeah. But looking at the bright side and being able to really revisit, you know, passions that they had mm -hmm. or reflect on things, you know. So I really definitely had that opportunity to just write and play. I've done a couple, I did a, a live um, show with Global Citizen. Oh, great. Um, mm. Raising awareness with obviously the stay at home stay order home. and the lockdown. Yeah. And just doing a free concert for people to enjoy and just know that we're all in solidarity. Yeah. So I've done two of those already. So, you know, we have to, we have to, un like, unfortunately, life is such that we have to make the best mm -hmm. of what we, of what we have. Yeah. And also be grateful for the life that we have because some people, like, suffering is, is a fact right now. Mm -hmm. And there's so many things happening in the world that are affecting people on different levels, you know. So if I, as an artist, can share, that's great. And also make sure that in my own place, I'm grateful, you know, yeah. to even just have the space to create and share music. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Fallon, on, on the show today. Uh, Thank it's, you. It's, it's absolutely amazing. And, of course, you know we love you on Wake Up Nigeria. So uh, when yeah. this whole lo lockdown is lifted, uh, we hope that you can join us here. Uh, on the yes, show. I'll be back. You know, last time I had chicken, you guys were cooking for me on the show. <laughs> yes, indeed. We, we certainly will be so ready for you when you come back. So next time we have to set back. that up. Yeah. <laughs> so see you soon then. All right then. Yes. New Stay music safe. Too. Thank you so much. I uh, was looking forward to the new music in September. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, excellent. Uh, so we, uh, uh, looks like we're ready for the kitchen. Yes. And Chef Miyosi has said a lot. <laughs> he didn't cook a lot. Hannah did all the cooking. Oh my God. So we're definitely <laughs> going to see what Indomie Cafe has. I hope people will take this fight outside, you know, when the show is over. Yes, and they so will cook, can... compete. No, like, I'm, t I'm talking about a physical fight. Why are you violent? I haven't seen a fight in a while. Wow, it's not that deep. It's just cooking. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the kitchen and let's see what Chef Beyonce right. and Hannah have for us from Indomie Cafe. All right, all right, all right. People. Breakfast is served. Our Indomie Cafe is I, ready to go. No, I mean, <laughs> VIP, thank you very thank much. You very someone much. That said we speaking? Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so yes, Beyonce and Hannah, well done. You guys have done great this morning. Yes. Can you let us know what we have here? Okay, so first we have Indomie Frittata. It's made from vegetables, special homemade um, signature chili sauce from Indomie Cafe. Yes. Oh, wow. And eggs, yes as the binder for it um, and secondly we have the indomie africana mm. and this is made from 
also a signature Africana sauce made yeah. from pumpkin leaf, crayfish, oh, smoked fish, mm. um, some onions and some chilies as mm. well. Mm. Okay. And we garnished with some beautifully sauteed bell peppers. Bell okay, peppers. can I, uh, I mean, so, all that. Yes, all I mean, I mean <laughs> it's <laughs> chicken. Yes. Talk, talk talk so while we're having... Um, Yummy taste this. Now, viewers, oh, stand a you. chance to win fantastic prizes like mm. meal coupons, card coupons of Indomie noodles, mm -hmm. and much more. Now, all you need to do, I'm your go-to girl, so I'm just going to tell you how you can win this because Yummy and MM can't tell you. Wow. You just have to go to Indomie Cafe page on Instagram, follow, very important, you have to follow first, next you have to like the page and get ready to answer questions from the page. You also have to follow TVC Connect. So follow Indomie Cafe, follow um, TVC Connect, I like um, the post and then get ready to answer questions. Do the same on our page and guess what? You stand the chance of winning coupons from Indomie Cafe. I get Chef Mioze might just be delivering to you, even if it's going to be contactless. <laughs> you never know, you never know. So, no contact. courtesy of Indomie oh, Cafe, yeah. thank you so much, Indomie Cafe. We definitely are going to be ordering. Listening to you. Like, I'm going to let, you, I'm gonna let you all just. <laughs> You've talked, talk, talk, talk. You should, you two think. I'm going to let you all just. Me too. <laughs> Let's just help you. I'm going to let you all just round off the show. Right yeah. Now. Yeah. But this is really good. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. I love it. it. Well done, guys. Thank this you. is. Yeah. I mean. I typically don't like noodles because I think it's food for children. Mm -hmm. but, but now this, you're a child. <laughs> say, this, say, I'm this your right here, I'm a child. <laughs> you know, this is really good. Guys. We have to go. Oh. Yes, it was an amazing time. Guess what? We're here tomorrow, same time, 6 a.m. all the way to 8.45. And we cannot wait to see you. Bye. Bye. Bye.